My last farewell. Farewell, beloved country, treasured region of the sun, pearl of the sea of the Orient, our lost Eden. To you with gladness I surrender this somber life, and I offer it to you, joyous, bright and undimmed, for your welfare, for your good. On the field of battle, in the fury of fight, others give you their lives without doubt, without regret. The place matters not, Cyprus, Laurel, or Lily, scaffold, open field, conflict, or martyrdom's plight, it is all the same if the home or country asks. I die when I see the sky has unfurled its colors, and at last after a cloak of darkness announces the day, if you need scarlet to tint your dawn, shed my blood, pour it as the moment comes, and may it be gilded by a reflection of the heaven's newly born light. My dreams, when scarcely a lad adolescent, my dreams when already a youth, full of vigor to attain, were to see you, gem of the sea of the Orient, your dark eyes dry, smooth brow, held to a high plane, without frown, without wrinkles, without shame or woes. My lifelong dream, my deep burning desire, this soul that will soon depart cries out, salute, to your health. Oh how beautiful to fall to give you flight, to die to give you life, to die under your sky, and in your enchanted land eternally sleep. If upon my grave one day you see appear, amidst the dense grass, a simple humble flower, place it near your lips and my soul you'll kiss, and on my brow may I feel, under the cold tomb, the gentle glow of your tenderness, the warmth of your breath, let the moon with soft and gentle light, let the dawn send its fleeting radiance, let the wind moan with murmuring grave voice, and if on my cross a bird should alight, let it sing its hymn of peace to soothe my soul's unrest, let the burning sun evaporate the rains, and with pure atmosphere return my clamor to the heavens, let a friend mourn my early demise, and in the serene afternoons, when someone prays for me, oh, country, pray to God also for my rest, pray for all the unfortunate ones who died, for all who suffered torment unequaled, for our poor mothers, who in their grief and bitterness cry out, for orphans and widows, for prisoners in torture, and for yourself pray that you may see your own, redemption. And when the dark night wraps the graveyard, and there alone only the dead vigil remains, disturb not their rest, disturb not the mystery, should you hear chords from a zither or psaltery, it is I, dear country, singing hymns to you.